Sometimes I feel like this, this pig area that we've built here is just an evolving concept of trial and error. What do you think? Well, the area itself with the fence has been great. Yes. But their living arrangement, or the, what would you call it? Their little pasture area. Their quarters, their living quarters. Their living quarters. Take these fences, just back over and lay them over there, real quick. Green has been trying to get his groves lined with the irrigation ever since we moved in, and it's been like one thing after another that has keeping us from being able to completely fulfill that requirement for him. <clears throat> We're trying so hard today to get down there. It's already 3.30 in the afternoon. Anyway, we're gonna try to get some of the irrigation done. I'm gonna be putting weed barrier on the hill because we're gonna kind of make um, a drought tolerant landscape down there as well. Uh, so, still a lot of things cracking at the farm. Still haven't got the back awning yet but I will say this about the company even though we're um, not under warranty anymore I think that they did the right thing and they're gonna replace it for us so it wasn't our fault that it came off <laughs> Who's looking the ATV before I get in for some reason I'm anticipating one day there's gonna be a snake curled up in here somewhere and chilling and be like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> now that you're here, not so good. We're going to be doing today is laying weed barrier along this this hill right here this little hill we were initially going to put some fruit trees but we feel like putting just some drought tolerant plants would be the best thing um what was over here were these bushes that just were not the greatest i don't know they're just not fabulous 
the bushes like right in here. And today Renee has already taken out some alongside right here so that I can go ahead and just lay the weed barrier out and prepare it uh, for the for the introduction of our drought tolerant plants. <laughs> Are you smiling because you're happy? Oh, <laughs> I think I'm going to start from here yeah. and go back and just leave that for right now over there until we decide. Oh, you're just taking it out? Yeah. So I'm not going to run it from there. Um, mm. I might just run an actual mm -hmm. line and have it in here. Okay. You know what I mean? So if you guys remember one of the videos when I showed you the pile of irrigation line that I had wrapped up in my awesome weed whacker and so i think that kind of really drove renee to realize that he needed to bury the irrigation line so that i wouldn't wonk up his irrigation but the rabbits keep chewing on this so there's like, do that there's holes everywhere because the rabbits are chewing on them yeah i've already had a patch it a couple times there We're in the middle of the uh, Grove renovation. Grove One remake. Grove One update. Grove One beautifying. Grove One, we're finally getting to it. But we got a little project we want to do real quick. Because we, a very good friend of ours. A beautiful friend. Very, very good friend of ours brought us a gift the other day. She brought us a gift. I don't know if you could see him or her. Where's the others? Down oh, they're there. Down, down there. We got three little kitties. Mm -hmm. So. Pigs no longer use their their house anymore, so we're gonna set them up. So I think I'd like it either like right in here. Yeah. Or over there. The thing I don't like about right here is for potential snakes. Right here? Yeah. But then we have all this nasty water from Wilbur's pig bath. I'm actually gonna turn it off because it's Because pigs can't sweat, they require mud to cool off. And so what Renee has done is he's put a like a sprinkler head on a little lawn sprinkler. Lawn sprinkler on that hose. And he put a timer. So every day at usually around like eight o'clock in the morning, it'll it'll sprinkle this area for about ten minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. And, and then water. he has his automatic water there as well. So Nice little mud bath with your automatic water. It's a pig spa around here. So what, what is your recommendation then? Over here or over there? Um, I, I don't see 
see what's wrong with over there. You just don't think snakes will be an issue? I don't think snakes... I mean, it doesn't matter where we put them, babe. Snakes are snakes. They're going to go. I don't see why there'd be more harm for snakes here than there. Yeah. Actually, there'd be more harm for snakes over there than there the because water, of the huh? water. Yeah. And right here, they've got the... We can tuck them in, like, right here, right under the trees, maybe clear all this stuff out. Yeah. Um... I was thinking like right here. Cause that's an incline. This is at least flatter. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Put them, tuck them in right here. The uh pretty hard to get the roof on, but Oh, I mean what we could do is put it on and slide it back. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <gasps> he said I'm right. Mm. <laughs> Always right. Charlie's doing okay. <clears throat> so just a quick update on Charlie. Um, Charlie is now being treated for um, idiopathic epilepsy, which really equates to they don't have an idea exactly what's causing his seizures or, um, or his epileptic episodes. So he was back in the hospital last week for 24-hour um, observation. He had a seizure with them. They put him on some pretty hardcore medication. Um, they really believe that it's something in the brain. So what now we're waiting on our neurologist consultation and an MRI to hopefully get some kind of understanding of what's going on. Um, we're really hopeful that whatever is going on with him, it's manageable or we can fix it. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at right now. So those of you guys that, that follow us, know us, um, and that know about Charlie, thank you guys for your prayers. Um, we're just in a wait time right now. He's our sweet baby. Charlie, you're such a sweet baby. We love you, buddy. of the farm but because we've had such luck with um, two of the four ferals that we got a few months ago we don't really want to interrupt what they have going on back there and we really want these guys to kind of get more integrated with us so we're just gonna try this out and since it's warmer it's not cold at night they'll be just fine back here and they came from our very dear friends farm where they were outdoors anyway their mother was a mouser she was kind of feral so they're already acclimatized to the farm life. We just want them to get used to our farm. in there so just close it up. Thank you. 